Let's now have a look at the switch, which is another conditional statement. If we scroll down, you'll see on the right hand side, we have a switch and it says that the switch statement is similar to a series of if statements on the same expression. In many occasions, you may want to compare the same variable or expression with many different values and execute a different piece of code depending on which value it evaluates to. This is exactly what the switch statement is for. And we have two nodes. First one, which we'll uh, have a look at a little bit later on, but let's read what it says. Note that unlike some other languages, the continuous statement applies to switch and acts similar to break. If you have a switch inside a loop and wish to continue to the next iteration of the, uh, of the auto loop, use continue to. But as I said, we are going to discuss continue statement uh, in one of the uh, videos when we're actually talking about uh, loops. Then we have another note. Note that switch does, uh, switch case does loose comparison. And loose comparison is basically checking for equality, not identity. In other words, basically it's going to be a uh, loose comparison rather than strict comparison. As you, as you may remember, double equal symbol against triple equal symbol, basically checking for data type as well. So, uh, uh, switch basically only does the loose one, which is equality with double equal symbol. So let's go to uh, to the editor and have a look at a few examples. Let's first have a look at the simple if else statement. So we're going to create a variable equals one and then if a double equal symbol zero, then we're going to echo, let's say uh, and we are going between the double quotes, we are going to use our variable and variables in the, between the double quotes have to be escaped with a backslash because of this dollar symbol. So a variable, variable is equal zero. And then we go for else if, and now we're gonna go for a equals one. We obviously checking, comparing uh, both of the of the operands on both sides of this operator because we're using double quote uh, double equal symbol we're not assigning which would be the case with just a single one uh, then we go for echo and again variable name a variable is equal uh, one and then we're gonna do the final eighth else statement saying echo a variable is neither zero, no, one. So that's the if, else, if, and else statement. Now, how would we com uh, convert it to the switch statement? And I'm going to split the screen here so that we can see things a little bit clearer. And I'm just going to create a few new lines so we have it next to each other. Okay, so now converting this into a switch would be as simple as typing switch, then passing the argument, which is our A variable, and now we are going to create a bunch of cases. So case zero, which basically we are comparing. So is a zero, in other words, it's, it's as if this first if statement has been converted into a switch. So case zero, and let's use the same thing. So I'm just going to copy this line and echo that uh, one. Now, important thing is to include the break because once the case uh, basically matches the criteria, basically, if we are comparing this a variable against the case, if this one uh, returns true, then we obviously echo what's uh, what's uh, inside of this case, and we need to include the break. Otherwise, the case basically we would go further down the line, basically with the cases. And if there was another case that matched uh, this variable, basically, then another echo would be obviously returned. So I'm going to show you actually example later later on as well. So uh, next one is going to be case uh, one, and we are going to echo this variable as we call one, and then break as well to basically exit this switch. And then last one for else, we have a um, statement called default. So if all of these cases failed, then the default one will basically return this statement here. And then again, we are breaking after that. So what happens now, if I comment this if else statement and preview everything in a browser, if we go to our PHP course, and there we go, a variable is equal one. If we go back to the editor, obviously a variable is equal one. If we now change it to zero and go back to the browser, refresh the page, and now obviously the first one 
was matched, this first case has been matched basically. We can remove this if statement here and close this window. So we've got basically one uh, one window obviously with our switch statement. So now what, when I told you that uh, if we don't use a break, uh, that obviously the next state, the following statement is going to be executed. Let's have a look at the example of this one. So say we change this variable a back to one. And what I'm going to do now, the first case, I'm going to change to one and let's uh, change the output. Um, we matched a variable as uh, integer one. And then for next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this integer to the string. So we're still comparing for number one, but here we've got a, a, a straight integer and here we've got it as a string. And as you may remember, what I said is that uh, switch checks for equality, not identity. So string will match the integer as well because equality doesn't check for data type. So what I'm going to do is just copy this one and paste here we've matched a variable s string one and then we can ignore the default for this specific exercise and if we save everything preview it in a browser have, oh actually i was about to remove this break um statement after each of these so as you can see both of these actually match the the variable so what's going to happen now without these breaks if i refresh the page there we go we've got both of them returned so first one and then we have the second one as string as and as integer. This is why this is why we're using these breaks basically to make sure that the, the statement once the first uh, match has been found, we basically exit the whole switch. So if we place the break in place here, put the break here, and also for the second one, then if we refresh the page, only the first one is going to be returned, and nothing after that basically. So if we were to put some other code right under here, then once the first condition has been met, we've returned what's inside of this case. Then the break tells us exit the switch and go to the next basically statement, which we've got inside of this file. Let's now look at uh, an, uh, an, uh, another example. If we use sum as a string, and now what we're going to do is basically use case none compared to none. And let's just return none basically rather than creating all these sentences and uh, then for this one we are going to type sum so that should match so sum and then uh, for default if we echo default simply and then break if we save it preview it in a browser and refresh the page there we go sum obviously that's matched as well so as you can see you can also compare strings as well as expressions and let's do the simple multiplication one multiplied by three and if we now try and match it the first case let's say we're going to see if it equals one so let's put just one here for the next one we are going to put two and we just type two and for the default we'll just keep it default obviously one times three is three so default should be returned and refresh the page and that works fine as well another example would be to actually uh, use the expression within the case so what we are going to do is basically let's uh, assign integer three to our a variable and now rather than passing the variable into the switch statement we are just going to pass the boolean true this is what we want to basically match against the case. So what we're going to do with the case now is simply use the variable a and check if it's more than two. And let's just return something more than two. And then next one, if we do a is less than two, and let's just change this to less than two. And for the default, let's just keep it default so we know basically. Obviously, none of this has been matched. So if we save it, obviously, we should get this more than two and refresh the page. And fair enough, this is what we get. So as you can see, you can basically either put the expression here, basically the result of the expression, and then match it with the case or put what you want to be returned, basically, what you want to uh, basically the, the case to return. And, and and basically work your way with within the cases, basically, uh, obviously trying to work out uh, whether the result is going to match the, the switch uh, argument. With switch, you can also group 
uh, cases. So let's say we have this uh, A, let's set it to five, and then we are passing this A variable as an argument to the switch statement. And what we are going to do is basically do case one, then after this, we are going to do case two. You can see case is followed by the result or expression and then colon. And then we go for another case three, another colon, case four, colon, then case five, colon. And for these ones, we are going to say uh, number is between one and five. And then we break after that one break for all these cases because they are one after the other. And then for everything else, we are just going to use default. Uh, let's just keep it default. If we save it and preview everything in a browser, refresh the page. And as you can see, I'm just going to basically move it uh, here to the right so we can see the code and the, and the result as well. So number is between one and five. If I change it to six and if we save it and refresh the page, and we get the default. But anything in between one and five, let's say, uh, let's put three as well, refresh the page. And as you can see, this also uh, triggered this echo statement here, because it's one of the cases that we group together, basically. So grouping cases together is, is as simple as putting case after one case after the other, basically. And once you're ready, you return this, your statement and obviously to complete it, uh, also uh, return the break. So that's how you would group the case uh, cases together. The just let's have a look at the the basic the structure of the switch statement because we haven't discussed this yet. So basically, switch starts with the switch uh, keyword. Then we have brackets in between which we put our argument. Then we use the set of curly braces, and then we have cases basic case with the expression or result which we're trying to match against the argument. Then colon, and obviously if it's just a single one, you just basically use it this way, you either return echo or call function method, whatever you you basically want to do once the, the case has been uh, matched. And then remember to break basically to make sure that nothing else is returned after this time. Break basically tells PHP to exit this, this switch statement and go uh, and execute whatever's after the switch statement. Uh, so that's uh, how the standard approach uh, is uh, looking basically, but you can also remove the uh, braces and use the colon after the switch and the brackets. And then after the uh, all your cases, simply end switch keyword. You can use it this way, as you may remember, uh, if statement has uh, had also many different variations that you could basically uh, write it. So switch has this optional uh, way of basically uh, write, using it. Uh, you can obviously use the colon instead of the curly braces. But remember, you have to use this end switch at the end in that case.